Good afternoon. Now, I'll start my talk off with one simple question. Have you ever heard that we're one day going to live on Mars? Well, I have, and I have to say that I hear that pretty often. Last year, I flew to space camp, to America. I was so impressed by all the amazing simulations they had and all the achievements they made. But then, that got me wondering, why are we as Poland so distant from space exploration? Now, this is our galaxy. This is Earth. This is our solar system. And this is Earth again. Do you think humans knew how all this looked like or worked from the beginning of our existence? No. Nicholas Copernicus, a Polish scientist slash astronom, was the first person to take a closer look at space. It all started off with this theory that changed the way humans looked at our universe. That theory was that the sun orbits around the sun, I mean, the Earth orbits around the sun rather than the other way around. But is that the only Polish achievement in space? No. In 1969, as you'll probably know, Neil Armstrong was the first man to step foot on the moon. But nine years later, Mirosław Hermaszewski, the first Polish astronaut in space, set off with his crew in a Soviet spacecraft for an eight-day stay on the moon. I mean, in space. So, in 1997, the American Pathfinder Curiosity landed on Mars. Since then, there have been several Mars landings, but in the most recent one, though, Poland has produced and designed a drill for the rover so that it could see what hides underground on Mars. But that was only in November 2018. Who knows what comes next? Now, let's move two streets away. Did you know that we are there on NASA? Yes, it's called POLSA, the Polish Space Agency. The Polish the task of the agency is to work with the European Space Agency and help them research on different parts of space. Our NASA also represents Poland in the field of education and space exploration. The Polish Space Agency helps to see if the use of satellites can help us in everyday life. That includes weather forecasting, navigating, or even communication. In 2030, Poland hopes that it can have full access to all space stations and that our astronauts can fly to space more often. So, next. After all, it seems like we as Poland aren't so distant from space exploration at all. I'm so happy that we can have such a big contribution to the ESA and that we can have such a big contribution to space. But it isn't only in the field of space where a small nation can make a big difference. Take Netherlands, for example. They're known for being the most ecological country in Europe. They have bikes instead of cars and even green, green bridges where, with plants all all over them so that animals can pass easier. Or Finland, what's Finland known for? Of course, education. Now, remember, one nation, no matter its power or size, is capable and has the potential to do the impossible. Thank you.